In the previous video in this series, I set up a transient blade row simulation using the Fourier transformation and transient rotor stator options on a turbine with a veinless volute. In this video, I'll show and analyze the results of this simulation. I can show you some of the data collected by the monitor point set after the solver completed its run and the solution had reached a steady periodic state. This plot shows the pressure data collected on each side of the impeller volute interface. The yellow line shows the pressure signal captured by the monitor point near the impeller inlet. The green line shows the pressure signal captured by the monitor point placed on the volute side of the interface. You can clearly see that for every one period captured by the monitor on the impeller side, we see nine oscillations in the pressure recorded by the volute monitor point, corresponding to the nine blade passings. The monitor placed on the impeller shows one per revolution variation in the pressure. The instantaneous expansion efficiency, flow rate, and expansion ratio all demonstrate transient behavior, which has been successfully captured by the Fourier transformation transient blade row method. The time average values of these quantities can also be obtained in order to describe the aerodynamic performance of the turbine. I will open the results file in CFD post. You will notice that the entire geometry has been rendered despite the fact that I only ran the simulation on two impeller blade passages. The Fourier transformation method allowed me to recreate the solution for each blade for the entire geometry using data instancing. I also inserted a surface location and generated a pressure contour map. Here we can see the asymmetric variations in the pressure distribution. Data instancing is especially useful for animating plots. This animation shows the changes in the pressure distribution as the turbine rotates. As we can see, the Fourier transformation method does a good job of modeling the pressure distribution at the rotational interface. This concludes this demonstration showing the Fourier transformation method and transient rotor stator mixing plane model on a veinless volute case with an asymmetric flow.